Hello and welcome back. We are the saviors of North America! At least I think so. <clears throat> At least uh, the faction that we just cannot stand, Sinadrion. And uh, where do we go? It is possible that I just kick Cameron, Dragon... No, no, no. Cameron is gonna come with us. And we're gonna check out this unexplored site. Actually, I probably should just make a save. Uh, I just forgot to make saves. Uh, lately, I played a bunch of uh, console first games. And that just didn't have saves in them. And I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of getting to the point where I just don't save. And uh, that's, that's quite quite uh, the journey from uh, just spamming F5 every 5 seconds. Area scan. And explore. Ooh! Yes! Uh, I th think... We're gonna... What? Which one is that? No, no, no. Phoenix Point. That's where we want it, right? We finally have the car. Our operatives have discovered a large screaming head which appears to have grown on top of uh, an old pumpkin. Old, old... What? Why, why the hell did I say pumpkin? I'm... I, I, I have no idea. Anyway, old pumpkin warehouse. The head is only vaguely human and in some ways resembles a very large pumpkin. That's why I, that's why I said it. <sighs> I was like, I didn't read that, but somehow I like, wait, what? Why, why, why am I thinking of pumpkins? Uh, its eyes bulge and drip with a viscous uh, pus-like fluid, stalks resembling antenna grow from its uh, balding pate. It appears to be screaming the same word over and over, something like Your Glock or not in a variety of intonations. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is like a, probably a good example of like me just misreading it or just like not even recognizing that I read, read this and like what? What? How, do I, how am I thinking of pumpkin? Like this could be like, yeah, this kind of how subliminal messages kind of work, you know? Like you don't consciously, like I was just reading this and probably like jump, jump down for like, I don't know, very, very briefly, but I didn't really realize that and just like, whoa, pumpkin what? Anyway, uh, just search the warehouse, contact the suppose of Anu, we should head off. Destroy the head and search the warehouse. No, 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 just, just search the warehouse. Stuff! Your search has lost 10 stamina? That's bullshit. Okay, let, let's just go over there. Uh, I don't know if you have wanna area scan here. I wanna area scan over there. That's for sure. And I'm gonna save my area scan for that. Since looks good to me. Let's let's do that. Get stuff. I think the grenades uh, take too long to make. I like the grenades, but like five hours to make one, that's too long. Unless I get some extra plants. I should do that. But uh Whatever. Uh, also, it seems like we may not, not. Well, we kind of have to go back a little bit because of the mist. But uh, okay, maybe it's too early to make a decision on that. But uh, it it may seem like some bases are gonna be obsolete eventually because at least you're gonna visit it less. There's nothing else to. You know, it doesn't seem like there's a reason to rescan. That's the point I'm making here. So once we kind of explored all the area, uh, unless we get attacked, or like unless humanity or the other bases get attacked, or maybe the mist uh, goes over them and that way they get attacked, um, there's just nothing happening. Unless the faction starts start an all-out war. Uh, uh, they kind of deserve that. <laughs> I'm, I'm making four research uh, facilities, which might just make up for the fact that I, I'm, I was pretty low research at the start. We survived. Yeah. 
the the weapons are not like a significant upgrades in this game from what i can tell you know you just like Oh like 20% better, like that, that's that's fine, you know, that, that, that's nice, but not like, you know, like five times better. It's like, you, you gotta get it. Comes online. Okay, who's gonna go first? Do we have dragon? What's our plan? Cameron dragon beards, uh, let's go. We don't see anybody. So what to keep in mind is that we have two containers over here. One over there, one over here. Two actually in this house. One in the open. And maybe one where we started. Actually, this area has three. So they may come over here. I don't I'm not feeling too confident about rushing in way too much. Uh, actually That's our move. Oh, we spotted an enemy? Who? Okay, they are over here. That's nice. Having one heavy is nice. But we can't do much with that. Unless, unless over here. Yeah. This kind of works. Haywire? Also, we can kind of come over here. And try to make some shots. 70 damage. Uh, do we have any more snipers? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I would never want to do that. I like that. Come on. I can click on the inventory button. <laughs> okay, we can just snipe. He's just gonna come a little close, maybe set up a, a pistol shot, just in case someone shows up. And we're just gonna take this very minimal cover and make a shot on these suckers. Oh, let's just shoot them in the leg. One less to worry about. That's fine. Uh, let's enter. The game doesn't feature a lot of hotkeys, but not like I have to press the enter button too many times. Uh, actually, you can end the turn with backspace, which is the dumbest button ever. I mean, like, who's pressing that? If the hotkey is more troublesome to press than the button on screen or maybe inside the menu, yeah, that's not a good hotkey. But I, I imagine, you know, they don't want players to press it. Uh, Accidentally, which which I totally get. Oh Ready my! To there's a face hugger. Okay. Well, he's getting some good intel up top. Okay, let's, let's get over here. Let's see now. We're just a scout now. You know, you just look around, okay? Just uh, hide. You don't want to get shot. And we know about some enemies, but how do we deal with them? Uh, Cameron Dragon Beards has a shotgun. She can run through the whole map, but I don't want to just engage everybody. Ready for action? Yeah, I don't know if you're ready for action. Right there. Yeah. Confirming target. It doesn't seem like that is uh, a natural accent. <laughs> yeah, well, I would probably. Wait, come on. Oh, 
It kind of sounds like like I'm trying to make a an intentionally a bad a Schwarzenegger accent. Got to the chopper. <laughs> no, somehow it became like what? That's so terrible. How, how do you make something intentionally terrible? No, no. I mean that that, that has to be so bad. I I know that uh, she's trying for an African accent, but like God damn it, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know, but it just, it doesn't seem quite right. Even though, not like I hear it all the time. Actually, like. This is a very heavy accent, even even the attempt of it. Uh, Bernardo Director O'Higgins, uh, what the fuck are you gonna do? He's gonna come a little Holy closer. No. Oh, can we make a shot on the face hugger? Wait, what? No, no, we can't. Okay, let's just go for a big snipe. And uh, Drew, the Viking Wildman. Good question. Uh, can we just go over here? Uh, let's just get closer. He's just... He's just a weird guy. I mean, melee is not how the day, uh, the day is gonna be won, uh, Drew. I'm telling you. But, sure. Well, that's gonna be destroyed. That's for sure. Maybe we can take one guy out. Um, what's better than heavy cover is just not even being being able to get shot. Uh, yeah, I think you're just gonna start coming closer. And what else we got? Uh, that's it. Enter. Okay. I can't, can't prevent that. Oh shit! Wait, what? Oh no, he spotted three enemies. Even on, even best case scenario, uh, remove the face hugger instantly. It removes uh, all our action points for a turn. So it's not amazing. You never feel like, oh yeah, that was awesome. Uh, we can just bash it. No! You fucking kidding me? Oh my god, game. Okay, uh... I guess this guy's gonna have a timeout. Now, when you press bash... Automatically, the game suggests you that you hit your own soldier. While instead, you wanna hit the facehugger. This is something that I would very likely would like to reload for. <sighs> but you know what, game? I'll accept it. What's our plan? And obviously, I would like to target the enemy first rather than my own guy. At any rate, is it possible to get an angle on this crab? Maybe? Let's see. Wait, what? Not have Oh, yeah! She's low level. She can't uh, overwatch for two action points. Can we get in here? No. That This is a super wall. Full... full uh, fully tall wall. <laughs> it's a tall wall. We can't see through that. Uh, what else we got? Bernardo Director O'Higgins, uh, fuck. What did we do? He doesn't have the Overwatch ability. But he does have a shotgun. We can go to the other side. Speed. Okay, enemy, enemy spotted. Oh, what? Is he overwatching? Okay, well... We have a sniper here. Let's do this. Uh, can we make the shot? 
If I come out, then we can't make the shot. That's not a good position. What's her plan? Yeah, she's not gonna do anything. And he's... Well, he's almost stuck. But not quite. I'll just move him over. We still got the guy. Is it possible to get an angle on anybody? On the double. I can use my pistol maybe. So if we can go over there. Get into high cover. Although, not the best angle. Actually, fuck. Eh, yeah, whatever. We can't shoot. I'm on Overwatch. Okay then, that's all we got. That's nice. I should have done more with watches. Wait, that was it? No! <laughs> Getting close is so punished. <laughs> what is this ability? Organic grenade launcher. Effective range of 11. Actually, we are in there. And you can also fire it from a longer range. And it deals 50 blast damage with a blast radius of 2.5. So at least you want uh, free squares between your uh, your units. And I didn't have that, not at all. Channel open. Okay. Let's dash in. We can use a shotgun. In your face. Wait, what? Yeah, something like that. I think that's gonna be fine. Right now. It's pretty annoying that they both return fire. So, you would need to go in a position Wait, what? We can finish him off now? Where they can't shoot back. Uh, he has 100 hit points when on the ground. We can't kill it. Can I just kill this guy? Wait, can I use the, sh the sniper for that? Uh, let's just use the pistol here. Actually, let's not, not because he's gonna return fire. They always return fire. Hmm. Okay, let's get over here. Moving to position. Targeting. But make a sniper shot on his head. You can't get hit for that. Now... I see his machine gun. At the very least he's gonna lose his machine gun if I shoot like this. So we're gonna be fine. I guess the rookie can go for a uh, easy kill. What else we got? Is it set? Crates protected. Oh yeah, we still have the face fucker uh, running in. That's one thing we have to consider. Can I just sh shoot the face hugger in the face? What? You fucked up. Okay, Eric. 
Uh, can you salvage this scenario? Um... Uh, with the sniper, please. Okay, uh, we need to... I think this is a... Probably a better vantage point. Oh, man. That's it! <laughs> but this difficulty is definitely more my jam. I, I initially tried the game on the previous difficulty, and it was just too easy. Okay, Nikita leveled up uh, the heavy. Uh, despite the fact that she's not seeing too much action, but I, I think that's gonna change when he gets, she gets, uh, a sniper rifle. Imagine that. Jetpack plus sniper rifle. That's gonna be insane. <laughs> When the faction becomes supportive, it will give you the location of all of its havens. Really? So we get just got some stuff here. Uh, no guns, but one Odin grenade. That was a pretty... Uh, pretty big fight. I have to go back. Or it's, it's the safe play to go back. Uh, we can replace someone who got really wounded. Wait. Can we put... Personnel... Can we put the car... On the Manticore? Why can't, why can't we do that? Does it take a spot? Yeah, let's see. So, we have... True the Viking. He is gonna fucking go for a chill. And... Let's see the vehicles. Is it just not possible to put it there? Or it takes up more more spots? Let's see. The second most wounded is obviously Cameron Dragon. Uh, he's gonna stay at Phoenix Point. At this point we have like a okay team. Can we take the... It's not possible to take it. How does it work? How many people we need to leave back at home if that's the problem? Mobius and Haywire also got left behind now. In the tutorial, I, I had that vehicle with two people. And it's on the on the Manticore now. So, we could take Fred. Oh, yeah. The vehicle takes up three slots. Interesting. <laughs> now we have the vehicle, but do I want to take it? Because if we take the vehicle, then people are not gonna... Wait, how good is this fucking vehicle? There's no way it's good as, like, three people. It's fucking bullshit. It's not that good. I'm telling you, it's not that good. Should we try it though? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a lot of people are resting now, so... Maybe it's, uh, Cameron is resting, Drew's resting, Fred can go for a mission, Bernardo, Nikita... And uh, I guess maybe Edge Mobius. What? That's, that's, it's gonna be a pretty small team. I think Eric probably... Well, we gotta wait a little bit, for sure. Uh, let's just do something with Nikita. Boom Blast. The action point cost of grenades and other explosive weapons is reduced by 1. And their range is increased by 50% until the end of turn. Okay. So we can go for, like, grenade launcher. And we can throw a bunch of uh, grenades as well. That's completely useless. But snipers could be interesting. But only if you have a sniper rifle. That actually we can have now. Um, how do we make it work? By not having any extra ammo. <laughs> Wait, what is this shit? No, don't take that. Ammo. Ammo. Throw this away. No, that's fine. 
Perfect. And you're gonna go for a training. Although, this is gonna affect your willpower a little bit, Nikita. Uh, so we might compensate for that. Wait, what? Experience one out of eight. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's the overall experience. Uh, let's go for snipers. And at this point, we have some... Uh, yeah, we can just run this out a little bit. We usually don't go for too many uh, flying missions. Speed of 15. And uh, this lowers it by 2. This lowers it by 1. So a speed of 12. Fine. We can go for more strength. Because we are tanky. And that gives us maybe, maybe another heal. Something like that. Okay. That works. Uh, we gotta wait a little bit. And these three are on the... On the Manticore one. But, yeah. I just take Eric. Although I kind of want to take Edge. But I think with the setup I'm going for... I, I just I just I just have to be more careful I don't know if this vehicle is worth it I don't realize that uh, we need to give up three people to take a vehicle I don't think it's gonna be worth it that way but uh, especially because of the XP so I mean we can just get another manticore if we did that I think the vehicle could make a lot of sense because we can just have two teams uh, working around the clock getting resources but we can't have two teams at this point but if you have a vehicle that means one team only needs three people right that could help but we would need to get a manticore and that is something we are a little bit short of right now the game is also encouraging me to get a bunch of guys uh, but you know we, we just we just can't get like an infinite amount. I can get one more. Maybe when I get an extra manticore, I, I just I just want to go missions all the time. Okay, let's just go with this team and see what we get. Wait, can we change the loadout of the vehicle? No, it's 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 standard. I mean, it seemed good in the tutorial. I, I just keep referencing the tutorial because I only saw it in the tutorial. Okay. Chiron. Uh, what else we got? So we know about yeah, research, Pandoran evolution. Pandora and Containment Facility. Oh, that's good. Reverse Engineer Weapons. The Scepter Minigun. That would be nice. Uh, my research is gonna uh, speed up a little bit in two hours. Um, do I want an area scan? I wanna, I wanna area scan over here. Let's explore. Construction complete. We can get a guy. I like this ship. This is the only one that doesn't look like a Diodo. Hmm. I'm thinking what's next. We can make a, a manticore. It's gonna take us five days. Wait, Odin helmet? Oh yeah. It's it's great because we can make it. We can make anything. It's it's a very ambitious project going for a manticore, but I think it's a sensible one. And it's gonna pay off. Big time. But at the same time. I need to pay attention to my research, because now, yeah, Pandora and Evolution, 
Uh, we made our research uh, five times faster. And production cap capacity is also two times faster now. Uh, because we got another base. Well, that, that matters a lot. Uh, that's, that's a big difference. But we would also need a scarab. And we would need more people than some guns for them. But like at that point, we have something to look forward to. Wait, what? Togo class filter on off? Oh yeah. I was like, why do he have this? I mean, I, 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 I knew what was good for, but... I was like, why do we have it with the vehicles? Okay, fine, fine. Uh, let's go over here. Research complete. Sure. Area scan for sure. And do an explore. You've been ambushed, holy shit. Survive three turns? Oh fuck. I mean, I would like to try out my car in a... In not in this scenario, because I've never been ambushed. And now I have to survive with my car. The ambush. I mean, we might just lose the car. I think that would be sensible. <laughs> I mean, if we can use the car to stay alive, but I don't think the car is just like an invincible, uh, <laughs> invincible. It's not a tank, okay? It's just a car. I don't know how it works. It's just okay. I mean, I would have, I would have loved to take it instead of like a soldier, maybe. But instead, of three soldiers. I don't know. That seems like a harsh price to pay for a car. Especially because the soldiers just get ridiculously good. I don't know, we'll see. The car is like a, a heavy, I guess. So we got the car. Does it move by itself? Info. So it has 530 HP, which might seem like a lot, but keep in mind the size matters a lot. This fucking thing, even though it didn't really come into play in the tutorial, probably gets hit by anything. Some guys sees it with a shotgun from the other side of the map. This thing is taking 400 damage. Also, it has a, a gun. That deals 160 uh, blast damage. AOE blast damage. Missile launcher. Pretty good blast radius. Immunity to a lot of effects. Machines have no willpower. But this basically makes the car like a soldier, like one. And also the soldiers can get into the car. But I'm I'm not sure how that exactly works. If we can make a shot on that. Wait, that's three action points and the car has four action points like everything else. Okay, that, that was kind of impressive. Okay, stop hitting on the car. The car is cool. The car moves by itself. We don't have to ride it, but we can ride it as far as I know. Wait, what? If I go into the car, then I... No, no, no. That, not because of the car. Yeah, we see two people. Targeting. Uh, just take out this guy. A Triton. He's a pretty armored head. Can I just take out his torso? It's gonna bleed pretty heavily because of that. Double perception is removed. He loses 16 willpower. That's probably gonna hurt. 
And uh, we can just maybe use a pistol to finish him off. Okay. A spotter is definitely pretty good with the car. So we need to survive for three turns. Not win, just survive. So I probably need to look for cover. But we are in the middle of the map, right? Yeah, we are. That guy's taking a crazy amount of bleed damage. There's no good place to hide. Even this tree is very dodgy. No, 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 no. I wanna overwatch maybe. Oh, that this point is kinda... Wait, can we leave the map? No, we can't. We need to survive in the middle of the map for three turns. Um, I guess I go there. Executing. If you spot for the car, that's nice. Uh, I'm not sure about how riding the car works, but in this scenario, we don't care. I just want to live. I want to stay alive. He's dying from bleed. Oh fuck. Wow, we managed to hit him. And he's confused. Oh fuck. Wait. They damaged the gun. There is the back of the car. How much armor does the car have? We need to repair the car as well. Uh, sporting uh, 30 armor on on many things. The vehicle to it is the uh, is the weakest one. Um, we can maybe go for a pistol shot. Just as a finishing move. One down. I don't think we can hit hit this guy. So car. Oh, that's gonna hit him. Over here hits him the most. Equipment damaged, machine gun. I could just take this back. Yeah, we can probably run run over a bunch of stuff with him, but uh, not do that. Uh, we can finish off the guy. Uh, let's hey, not move man. around. Actually, we can move around a little bit. A little bit. Just go for a heavy shot. That's fine. Target down. The car is pretty good for AoE. So, we got him. He can't do much. He's just gonna cover the area. And the same thing with the sniper. Cover over there. Where and we have to survive for two more turns. Feels like I'm winning. <laughs> uh, I have to survive one more turn. Evacuate all Phoenix operatives. Uh, yeah, that way. Oh yeah, we have time to try the car load feature. Um, maybe go over there. Channel open. I wanna go go into the car. Go into the car. Costs zero action points. But by doing that, I don't think we can we, we can't shoot out of the car. We're just in the car now. Moving. But I guess the car is reasonably fast, and also like you can reasonably tanky. 
how fast it is. I mean, it's not ridiculously fast, but it's 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 faster than most units. Okay, heavy. Here. You wanna ride the car or just fly? I wanna ride the car too. Uh, in Fallout Tactics, right there, you could actually shoot out of the car, which was really cool. And it wasn't like a full-on tank; it was a, it was a converted Humvee. So that could be a good idea too. And it was not only if that game could could be played turn-based and real time. I really like that game, despite you know being. Uh, just like, <laughs> like, come on! It's it's like a weird game because like Fallout tactics. I mean, although it it it's it's a good, good franchise, the Fallout franchise. It just nothing. Ha it has nothing to do with Fallout. It kind of has the atmosphere of Fallout, but it's not a role-playing game. It's just a excellent uh, um, tactical game. I wonder if there are any others out there that are just because I I do consider the game that game very impressive. And what it did. Uh, I think we're just gonna evacuate, yeah? I mean, going into the car just keeps you safe. But also, this car is a little bit banged up now. That's it. Get the fuck out of here, boys! Mission complete, ambush. I completed my ambush. Scarab is damaged. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I guess we have to repair the car. The car, the, the biggest advantage of the car, like, is that is range. Range is stupid. AoE, big explosion. The only disadvantage here is the, uh, the XP. If you use the car a lot, you're just gonna end up with uh, weaker soldiers. Okay, we're doing the scan. My guys are... Pretty much ready for another action. The car takes up three spots. I can go that way. Yeah, the mist is taking over a lot. I have four soldiers back at base. That's a little annoying. And they are still healing to an extent. Not, not, not. Not that much. We are manufacturing the Manticore. But it's still a little bit... Ways off. Yeah, we can't make another building. We just don't have the resources. We can get some guys, but... Yeah. We would need to make... I think in the first base. Maybe a... Uh... No, no. We can't make food production. Well... No, no, this gives us food for soldiers. But what we want is... Quarters? Living quarters. Actually, that, that costs power too. Ah, uh, okay. Well, what about medical? Okay, we might just go living quarters, medical bay here. Because this is where uh, the soldiers usually chill. Uh, let's just go toward the question mark. I wonder if popping uh, a search over here is fine. We pop one here and it might see a lot. And uh, we popped search. And we managed to find three question marks. Fine. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Fully healed and rested. I want to make sure that we keep researching. Turning and turning. <clears throat> One of our operatives has reported experiencing repeated lucid nightmares all of, of uh, floating up into the sky. Helplessly twisting and turning in a nausea-inducing spiral motion that seemed to defy the principles of 
Euclidean uh, space. They always walk before they could uh, see where they were going, but sense the frightening presence waiting for them there. The medical examination shows nothing wrong with the operative, and the dreams seem to have stopped for now. All Phoenix soldiers lost 5 stamina. Wow. Okay, that's just a minor annoying event. We're actually missing some stamina. I don't know, is this enough to have one less action point? Ooh, I don't wanna... Oh shit, I've been ambushed? Fuck me. Threat level high, light level night. Oh my god. What's with the ambushes? Stop it. I got ambushed even before. Before that, like, no one ambushed me. Not for like six hours. But now ambushed twice in a row? With the car? Is it because of the fucking car? It's, it's actually, no. No way. I mean, it would make sense that, you know, with the car, more people can see me. But we're not really using the car to to go around, I imagine. We use the we use the plane. The car is for fighting. And I don't think the car is worth three people. But if you lose the car, I mean it's probably gonna hurt you less than losing uh three people, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, well, of course, depends on the scenario. If there's just like a big clump of enemies all day long, then the car is pretty good. I'm mostly concerned about the long-term implications of me using the car, like having a bunch of low-level soldiers. Targeting. It's a pretty big Serapis. We can shoot him in the ass. He's dead. If we can fly up to an area that maybe allows us to snipe, but also stay with the team, the sniper heavy. It's very possible even if you don't get the special sniping, you can just trade as a sniper. Oh, I don't know where to go, maybe Moving over out. here. Hell cannon. We can use just the uh, the assault rifle. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, we're in the middle of the map, so let's do that. Face hugger, fuck off. Can I even see the face hugger? We know about the face hugger, but we don't see it. need to gash, uh, dash toward him. Oh shit. This is actually more dangerous. But others can probably help with that. Aiming. I mean, not the best sniper, but it kind of gets there. Definitely better than nothing. Uh... Let's just uh, finish off the face hugger, I guess. Then we can uh, think about the other guy. Enemy killed. He's somewhere around here. I guess I can just use a dash. Yeah. Oh, that kills him. What else? <laughs> Oh, let's just snipe over this way. Oh, but I guess we didn't use the car. So I have one turn. I 
think that's not a problem. Oh crap. I can now run away. Maybe do that. Also, this gives us the option to run like crazy and still go even further. So, car, car definitely has its uses. I'm ready. Alright. Let's see now. You got this. Others will just take the car. Mm, yep, it's pretty good. Oh, well, we're not gonna need cover, apparently. Can we just evacuate? Wait. It was grayed out, but uh, it kind of made sense. We're level six now. The scarab is not getting any XP. That would be the best. If the scarab also got some XP, then fuck yeah, I'm totally on board with the car. Most of the interesting technology is possessed by factions. To get access to it, you need to ally with them or steal it from them. Yeah, I mean, I fucking hate the factions, so I guess we're just gonna start raiding them big time. Their techs... ...and their... ...and their whatever... ...their facilities for, for parts. I definitely wanna pop a search somewhere here. Let's do an area scan. Although I'm a little concerned here that uh, I'm, I'm just getting... Going too far. Explore. And we're gonna have one less action point. What? Oh shit. I can't go there. We don't have an extra plane. Ugh. We have to take this mission. Oh my god, actually I forgot! This is such a long mission now that we are that the the ammo we took with us it doesn't replenish. You know that that's it for that's a, until you return to the base. I imagine we can just deploy the squad. Okay, well this is a low level uh, resource mission, so we should be fine. Best to attack sentinels with multiple soldiers to kill them in one turn, since they will activate their abilities on the next enemy turn. Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes usually. You just you just want to kill units instantly, or you're gonna get killed. If they are melee, then they, they could be fine. <laughs> But even the grenade launcher, even the the dumb crabs, they, they just seem so. Uh, well, they have the shields. They can deal some damage with the pistols. I mean, it's they're okay. They they are like pretty good uh, as a uh, as like uh, as, uh, mass soldiers. But they have that dumb grenade launcher, which just which just makes them which just takes them from I don't know like a, a, an okay enemy to like a two out of five. To uh, nine out of ten close range. So, holy crap! Not even close range, just just short range, like ten ten squares. That's like over there. Or I think they can use their abilities even farther away. But like over here, like there, there the crabs. You're fucked. <laughs> can we just fly up? Oh, that's a little ballsy move. But I'm getting a little ballsy with my, my heavy. Maybe I shouldn't. We 
because I will start getting punished. You see nobody. Well, okay then. I'm just kind of hoping to find someone for the car. Fred, I mean, I know usually you're not the spotter king, but this time you're the one who has to spot somebody for the car. For the car? Anybody for the car? Let's go. Nobody. Literally nobody here. I'm a little disappointed. Moving out. Oh, we got someone. Okay, one crab. Does this have like a range limit? I mean, you can say that, but I probably wouldn't. <sighs> You just come back. Okay, we can get in range and uh, maybe trigger an overwatch on him. And uh, this guy can move around a little bit. No, 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 I just stay there. Moving out. You're fine there. Uh, so about you. Is that like... Is that like proper cover he's in? I don't know. I think it is. Let's end him. I think he's gonna try to run away. Yeah. That's just the handheld grenade launcher they have. Pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah. Enjoy that. Wait. How do I just hit him like this? Oh, we missed with the second one. It's not, not like not like exact science. I'm ready. Ready to engage. Oh, well, that seems decent. Although we might hit the the post. Oh my god, what? And the other one is very far away. Oh, we can do a dash. Pushing on. Okay. Can we just finish him off with some regular shots? Preparing to fire. How? Oh. oh my god, he's very tanky. Let's do double dash. Oh crap! Face hugger. You need to die. Okay, the other guy. Ah, uh, well, considering that. That's it like that. Uh, the heavy is fine here. You have the sniper. You can just try to get in the position. Where we overwatch and he's gonna get killed. Uh, oh. We went too far. Well, I guess that's fine. Fine, enter. Here's a grenade. One got destroyed. But nothing else. Oh, someone else is destroying it. Fine. Uh, yeah. Someone needs to spot him. Receiving. Can the sniper do it? Enemy in visual range. Okay. Ready to fire. Spotting your own targets. Well, it's not bad, but it's definitely not great. 
Okay, what else we got? So, he can go for the same target with the sniper. Although he's not as good of a sniper. Aiming. Okay, fine. It, it worked. I, I believe, uh, well, partly because of the range, but mainly because of his armor. Uh, we already used the pull the dashes. Okay, let's use the car. We can get a little closer and still be able to shoot. But how do we shoot? So shoot in a way that they take damage, but the objective doesn't. Okay. I think the objective is just that. Like, there's not much I can On do. I'm getting closer, but... Wait, what? Who did we spot? Oh, the enemy that we are hunting. Oh, that's like good that. news. Or we can't deal with them. Yeah. Rip. I don't know why they are prioritizing that. It makes no sense. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I guess I might just... Do I go close? Let's do that. Aiming. How do you like this? Wow. Pretty good. And that's it. The car is getting no XP. I definitely got more XP before I used the car. Well, overall. I'm not saying per person. Yeah, we gotta steal some research, I think. But actually, we don't need to right now. I have a... I have a, like, crazy fast research. So... But that's not the big problem, I believe. But we don't have access to research. Yeah, whatever. So we already uh, scanning here. We just need to go back to base. Uh, also, we are scanning here. We're gonna learn more about Greenland. And we are heading back home. Research complete. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, we just we just got nothing. Every time. Disciples of Anu. Pender and capture containment. Uh, that could be something we can do. How much time we got? Is that some kind of video? The disciples of Anu were a mystery. Where others saw devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect, that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat, but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, to become better humans, to mutate. We knew that humanity needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. The disciples offered a solution, but what was their end game? There was something beyond their hierarchies and their rituals. The exalted had a secret. Well. The big My sources tell me New Jericho has developed a new type of APC. I hope they intend to use it to fight the Pandorans, not their fellow human beings. Wait, what? Ooh, you telling me that? So, if we can steal the new type of APC from New Jericho? Okay. The game is like, really like, you know, you wanna steal that uh, new APC? I do. I really, really do. And that's it? The big 
the big answer to aliens is tentacles. What the fuck? But the real question is, how can you win a war if you don't understand the battlefield? All the vehicles in the world won't help you if you cling to the delusions of the old world. I should know. I remember the wars of the old world better than anyone. Ah. That's great, buddy. Military victory is possible. Tobias West has a plan. <laughs> uh, press doubt. New Jericho is the last spasm of dying order. Humanity needs all the tech it can get. You don't like that? Well, <laughs> fair enough, actually, but we do have to be careful. Well, why not? I mean... Sindarion doesn't like tech. Disciples of Anu like tech. Really? Oh, New Jericho. Whatever. We need tech, okay? Don't be stupid. Bashing factories and like... No, that's stupid. That's just... That's just what stupid people do. That's not good. It looks like they're gonna defeat it. By themselves. I didn't need my help. Do they? Do they? I don't know. I have two good bases. I wouldn't mind going for some of the stuff here. Maybe, maybe another uh, research lab. I can also go for fabricators, right? By going for fabricators... I think the fabricators just work everywhere. So, we can just keep putting all the high energy buildings here. Put in another uh, power plant. Obviously, you wanna at least use all the power possible. And I, I'm really tempted to do that. Just put down research lab again. Just to make research even faster. Satellite uplink. I, I, I think having three is good enough. Uh, most of all, I I'm a little tempted to go for a, a fabrication plant. Yeah. We can just get this. Although, after the... I might be... We don't, we don't need a lot of fabrication plants. Frankly. <laughs> I don't know. If I would go for one, it would be one. Just the one. Let's go for more research. More research labs. And we just wanna chill in the base a little bit. But yeah, let's just take a break for now. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.